Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Savage Traveling coming to you from downtown historic Wabash, Indiana. And I'm gonna tell you the story of Modoc the Elephant, first and foremost. And then we're gonna move on and we're gonna discover some of the some of this historic downtown here. They have a lot left, more than I ever anticipated. So it looks like it's gonna be a fun morning of exploration, guys. Now, uh, but uh, first I want to tell you the story of Modoc, the most famous elephant in America. When the Great American Circus staged a performance at Wabash High School on November 11th, 1942, Modoc escaped and wandered downtown. Upon smelling fresh roasted peanuts here at the Bradley Brothers drugstore, she smashed through the front door, gobbled up the peanuts, and then proceeded on a five-day rampage through two counties. Her antics hit headlines across the country, making Modoc the most famous elephant in America for one week in 1942. So I believe this is the, yeah, Bradley's. This is that uh, drugstore or candy store, or whatever the elephant smashed into, and therefore you've heard the story of the most famous elephant in America in 1942. But uh, if you want to discover the rest of this downtown with me, uh, join us, please. It's going to be a good one. Modoc the elephant, the most famous elephant in America in 1942. Bradley's Drugstore. Looks to be the Eagles Theater. The building on the left is the S.J. Payne building. No date given. The corner block here is called the Plain Dealer, 1897. Here we have another S.J. Payne's block. This one with a date of 1898. The Market Street Grill on the bottom floor. Here I found a huge wall mural of a few downtown buildings. It's always neat when they do this, kind of spice up a dull wall, you know. I'm gonna assume this one here in the middle was a bank at one point in time. They, they seem to like to do that in some of these older downtowns. No dates. Oh no, date, 1910. Definitely an old bank. Wabash City Hall. This is the National Block. I think it says 1876 up there. The old national block. Here we have a train car on an old piece of track right here in the middle of town. Here's the opposite end of the national block. Wabash, Indiana, the first electrically lighted city in the world. On March 31st, 1880, officials of Wabash began experimenting with Charles F. Brush's carbon arc lights. 
four 3,000 candle power lamps were placed atop the courthouse and used to illuminate the town until September 1888. Here we have a statue of Abe Lincoln with malice toward none, with charity for all. The Wabash County Courthouse. Here's the old city hall. It says 1883 there at the top. This building on the left says Hess, and then the one on the right says it's the Masonic Temple. It says 1898 up here. Looks like another Bradley Brothers building. Nineteen oh one and looks like they revamped it in twenty seventeen. Some old war, Bradley Brothers Druggist, chocolate candies and sporting goods. Here we have the Busick Block, 1882. Explore downtown Wabash. We'll call this the sports block. Looks like the two far rights, or the two big buildings on the right were built in 1901 by Bedford and McCrea. And the two on the left don't have a designation or a date. Here we have the Canal Street Walk. I'm sure this old corner building has some history to it. it says E.M. Connors, 1897 at the top. Pretty unique for the area, really. The style, that is. Found the old burglar alarm on this bank. It's not marked, but I know what it is. Nothing that amazing, but I had to, I definitely had to get a clip of it. Hey, thanks for watching YouTube. This has been Zach with Savage Traveling coming to you from Wabash, Indiana. If you enjoyed our little historic downtown tour, please maybe hit that like button and then maybe subscribe and uh, we'll definitely have more videos like this coming in the future. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, peace.